Yeah, Abraham, he went through the ringer. It's not like Jesus had a cakewalk, though. You think Jesus ever trying to talk God out of some of that stuff? You know, like, hey, Dad, you know that whole crucifixion thing? Yes, you're dying on the cross for all mankind's sins. Yeah, yeah, hear me out. (laughs) What if instead of that, we did a big fundraiser? (laughs) No, no, get cracking on your miracles. Jesus performed so many miracles. You, you think the carpentry ever came up when he was doing the miracles? Jesus, if you could cure our son's blindness, and we'd love some shelves right here. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do the blindness, then the shelves. We need the shelves by Tuesday. <laughs> of course, we'd love our son to see those shelves. Jesus had the apostles traveling with 12 guys. You get like five guys together, a fist fight starts. If I were Jesus, I would have snapped. I would have been like, stop following me! Would one of you shave? We look like a homeless football team. (laughs) He's going to hell for that job. You know, the apostles are always used as an example of people that gave up everything to follow Jesus. They gave up everything, but, you know, they were fishermen. It's not like they were investment bankers. You know, Jesus went up to them, hey, you know, you're sitting out here in the blistering heat trying to catch fish in the Dead Sea? Yeah, it sucks. You want to follow me? I'm God. By the way, I can turn water into wine. All right, I'll go with you. One condition, you have to give up everything, and I mean everything. So I leave the pole here? <laughs> no, we can bring the pole. The apostles. How'd they come up with that name? You, know? you think one of the apostles was like, hey, Jesus, me and the guys were talking. I don't know why he sounds like that. <laughs> Maybe he's the apostle from Brooklyn. <laughs> Jesus, me and the guys were talking. You know? We think we need a name. Jesus was like, whatever. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> what about this name? The apostles. Maybe the disciples. We get some leather jackets. Get a big bird on the back. Jesus is like, whatever, we're all gonna be martyred. But we can still get the jackets, right? I don't like those religion jobs. They made me uncomfortable. We all know Jesus had the apostles, but did he have a best friend? Was he ever like, I think everyone knows the apostles and this is my buddy Earl. We're in marching band together. (laughs) He thinks this whole Messiah thing is crazy. (gasps) He's going to hell for that. (laughs) Heaven. I hope heaven's nice. We kind of built it up down here, didn't we? (laughs) We compare everything to heaven. It's like, (gasps) try this pie. It's like heaven. (laughs) What if we got to heaven? They're like, no pie. (laughs) No pie? (laughs) On earth? Yeah, those people aren't coming up here. West Virginia, you know, West Virginia, the state slogan of West Virginia is almost heaven, West Virginia, which sounds cool, but that's not like the best promotion for heaven. Because based on that, if I'm a good guy all my life, when I die, I'm going to a place a little bit better than West Virginia. (laughs) I mean, it's beautiful, but that kind of makes me want to take another look at hell. (laughs) He went too far. I didn't like that joke at all. Made me uncomfortable. I know religion jokes make some people uncomfortable, and I call them sinners. <laughs> My wife is very Catholic. If you've never been to a Catholic mass, it's still going on. <laughs> it never really ends. They just loop it around. I can never get my wife to leave when church is over. She's always like, why don't we stay and talk to the weirdest people here? (laughs) She doesn't consider me a real Catholic because I don't go to church or follow any of the church teachings, but occasionally I'll root for Notre Dame. (laughs) So I'm Catholic. I think it's interesting how Catholics and Protestants didn't get along. How did that play out? Yeah. You see those people over there with the almost identical beliefs as mine? I want to kill them. Because <laughs> my God's all about love. <laughs> my grandma would hate those jokes. Two weeks ago was my grandmother's 101st birthday. How about that? Yeah. 
Well, it's not that big of a deal. She died 20 years ago. <laughs> That's a trick joke! <laughs> yeah, this has been a fun tour. I've been traveling for a while, yeah. I get emails every week from friends. Hey, when you come to town, you have to stay with us. No, I don't. Because <laughs> everyone's house has their own kind of smell. I'm like, are you guys making vitamins in here? <laughs> Who's cooking the feet? Because they are done. <laughs> you never get offered a real bed. You could crash on the futon. I didn't even know I was getting drunk tonight. <laughs> they always offer the futon or the air bed. The air bed, I remember when that was just called a raft. <laughs> Do I get a kickboard as a pillow? <laughs> they always have a schedule too. We were thinking uh, breakfast around seven. Think again. Now, where can I watch TV all day in my underwear? <laughs> You're always in trouble as the house guest. Who left that damn porch light on? I was just looking for the bathroom. <laughs> That's all right. We just want you to feel bad for an hour. <laughs> you never wake up at the right time. You wake up a couple minutes after them. <gasps> nice of you to join us. We thought you fell into a coma. <laughs> we just want you to feel bad for an hour. You ever stay at someone's place and they're not there? That's weird, going through their stuff. <laughs> These people got some weird habits. <laughs> I stayed at my brother's place for a while. He has a bar in his house, which is cool, but how do you have a bar in your house and not admit you have a little bit of a drinking problem? <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic, I just need a room dedicated to booze. <laughs> here's where I watch TV, here's where we eat. I get tanked over here. Got a porn closet in the back. <laughs> Crack dance downstairs. Is he drunk? I think he's drunk. Hi. Yeah, I'm gonna tell him my name. Yeah, I'm gonna tell him. I'm not gonna tell him to subscribe. Because you know what? That's not what it's about. Oh, there's no more time?